Hi everybody, I'm JT and welcome to another video from me here at Camper Van Journey. In this video, I just wanted to give you a quick walk around and review of another of the campsites that we've stayed at on our trip around France this year. And um, we're at the Utopia uh, campsite in Arnay le Duc, uh, Etang de Fouché. And it's a lovely little site, um, very traditional site, I think, in terms of its layout and arrangement. But just walk you around and uh, show you a little bit about it. When we first started coming on holiday to France with our camper van around about five years ago, and this was the second campsite that we ever visited. Um, it was then at the time part of the Indigo camping group and then was taken over by Utopia. And we've been here four times now. It's a lovely little site, has a real sort of French rural charm to it. All the facilities have recently been updated, so much more modern and up-to-date than when we first came a few years ago. The office and reception area. A small cafe and bar. They offer quite a lot of local produce from the shop here as well, which is nice. When we arrived, we were given a gift of some local jam. All the Utopia sites have really nice pool areas and this one's particularly good, really family friendly. Um, so it has a sort of beach and the far end from where I'm stood is very, very shallow. So as you walk into it, great for, for youngsters, toddlers. Coming down to deeper end here is 1.35 meters. It's deep enough to swim in. A really nice area to relax in the sun. The weather's been really, really hot here the last couple of days whilst we've been here, sort of 35 degrees. So having access to a nice pool is really important to be able to relax and enjoy your holiday. See, there's really good protocols in place for COVID. So you have to wear a mask when you're inside and then provisions for hand gel all around the site. even hand gel on the entrance to the swimming pool. The French do like a good game of table tennis. So there's always two or three table tennis tables at the sites we go to. Just adjacent, you can see there's a volleyball court. And then there's also a badminton court just behind me. Get all free to access just turn up and play. So you can see this really traditional French campsite layout, some nice wide pitches all separated by beach hedges, plenty of space, plenty of area in front of them as well. But most importantly we have the Patank Court. There's always an area if you've got a motorhome to empty your water tanks. I think when we came for the very first time we stayed on one of the pitches over there under the trees. At the time we had our T5 Combi before we had our California. There's also a fantastic adventure playground here for the younger children. 
in really nice clean washroom facilities. Really nice site, plenty of space for kids, young and old, to run around and play. One thing we have noticed whilst we've been away over the last few years in France is how much the Dutch enjoy their French camping. You see pretty much every vehicle parked up here is from the Netherlands. So our pitch here in Arne Le Duc is typical French pitch so set, set up between two beach hedges. I really like to give a positive feeling about all of our camping experiences but there are a couple of negatives with our pitch today. Not the site but with our pitch and I'll just show you those because sometimes we have to work around those niggles. So we've had to put our tent sideways across the pitch and the main reason for that is although we reserved the site for a big tent just behind in the middle there is a drain a big drain cover so clearly we couldn't put the tent over the top of that so we had to adjust how we normally set up we'd normally put try and put our tent front to back and then position the van alongside but this time we had to adapt a little bit as well it's also easy access to the electrical point which is right behind the tent however we have noticed that in the top appears to be a wasp's nest so again you'd expect that in summer in france in the countryside and we've been lucky nobody's been stung so far it's just something to bear in mind all in all we haven't let it take off the great experience that we've had here, a really nice time. We've enjoyed coming back here to Arnie Le Duc. We've got one more night here before we move on to our next stop on our camper van journey. This is another pitch that we stayed on in the past as well, right down by the lake. Whilst they don't have the full, the larger log cabins here, they do have these sort of Canadian trapper style canvas tents. So halfway between camping and a lodge, gives a sort of glamping feel. They are wood burners, electricity. And these ones are right, you can just see through the trees overlooking the lake. They are slightly damp. Saturday morning, the lake still looks beautiful. Real haven for wildlife when we walk around yesterday. There's a load of birds, including herons big fishing spot as you'd expect. Deer running across the fields at the back, some Charolais cows. Typical rural France. So after three very enjoyable nights staying at Arne Le Duc, we just had to pack up and get ready for driving off to our next stop in the Loire Valley. So I hope you enjoyed that quick walk around of the site here at Tang de Vouche in Arne le Duc. And it's one of our favourites. As I said, we've stopped here now four times over the last few years. And that's definitely one of Claire's favourites. She always says what she, how much she likes the relaxed feel of this particular site. Uh, very close to a nice small French town which has got everything you need. There's an old fort, there's a little village supermarket and a slightly larger supermarket just on the, the fringe of the town. Lots of nice quiet roads for cycling and chateaus to visit locally as well. So heartily recommended and uh, we will probably almost certainly be back another time. 
Thanks very much indeed for watching. If you enjoy my videos, please remember to click the button to like and subscribe and you'll get even more content from us all about camping and our camper van adventures. Thank you.